New Zealand leads the world when it comes to five-year survival rates for children with cancer. However, a potential change in the way children's cancer medicines are funded is alarming patient advocates who are worried paediatric oncology patients will miss out. Patient Voice Aotearoa Chair Dr Malcolm Mulholland from Ngāti Kakungunu has started a petition bound for Parliament and is with us now. Kia ora, Dr Mulholland. Thanks for joining us. Kia ora, Neil. Now, Pharmac, New Zealand's medicine buying agency, currently funds all child cancer medicines. What, what could be changing? Um, they could be taking that provision away. So children who do need cancer medicines in particular instances um, would no longer be able to access it. Um, that could be on the table. Uh, another option could be that they fund uh, medicines for children regardless of their disease. So it could be for cancer, chronic illness or a rare disorder. And so it creates a level playing field there. Or the status quo could remain whereby children with cancer um, get the access to medicines that they need, whereas children with a rare disorder or chronic illness cannot. So those are sort of the three options that I think Pharmac have in front of them now. Why do you think this is being tabled? That's a really good question, and I'm really struggling to think of another country um, where a government agency has openly said we're actually thinking of depriving children with cancer um, medicines. It came about as a result of a case that, um, in part, was taken um, by my colleague uh, Fiona Tolich of Patient Voice Aotearoa, whereby she said it's discriminatory for kids with cancer to get the medicines that they want, whereas children with rare cannot. Her hope was that kids with cancer would continue to get the medicines that they need, but also kids with a rare disorder would also get the medicines that they need. Dr Mulholland, what can you tell us then about Rule 8.1b of the pharmaceutical schedule and why you feel this needs to stay as it is? Yes, yeah, so uh, Rule 8.1b uh, is actually a, a hangover, if you like, from the days when the DHB were responsible um, for medicines administered in the hospital system, uh, and then Pharmac uh, was given responsibility for that. It enables any paediatric oncologist, so any doctor that treats um, a child with cancer, to get the medicines that they need um, for their patients. And so it's really, really important that um, we keep that provision there because there have been instances that I've been made aware of where children has been able to access a non-listed medicine under the Pharmac schedule, and that, ch that child has gone on and had a very good outcome. So you're ready, ready to make a noise over this. Pharmac says concerns have been raised around its fairness with regards to children with other illnesses not having the same access to free medicine. I believe uh, that uh, paediatric oncology is an area where New Zealand is doing pretty well, and if, if we don't change, what do you see as a better solution? Well, I think it's really a case of a race to the top rather than a race to the bottom, which seems to be one of the prevailing attitudes within Pharmac. So if you're concerned about equity right across disease group when it comes to children, rather than take something away, which is what could be on the table um, in terms of paediatric oncology, you should actually give um, to children with a rare disorder or chronic illness. So that creates equity in that space. Um, that would seem to me the logical way to go about it. Um, but knowing Pharmac and how they operate, mm. who knows? Well, let's look at that track record for a moment, uh, looking at children with other chronic, rare and or acute conditions. What is our track record, record like for access to medicines for Tamariki dealing with these types of issues? Yeah, look, it's not brilliant, uh, Neil, and that's the, the hard and fast of it. Um, you know, and it all goes back to Pharmac not having a big enough budget. So we know, for example, it took some years uh, for Spinraza, a drug that treats children with spinal muscular atrophy to be funded. Um, we were lagging um, behind the rest of the developed world. We've still got children out there who desperately need trichafta, who are suffering from cystic fibrosis. They need that to be funded. And there are a number of others as well. So we do not do well in, the, in particular, the rare disorder space. In the chronic space, Another example could be, um, for example, um, continuous glucose meters for type 1 diabetic children. They should also be funded. But again, no movement with farming. Talk us through your petition and your plans uh, to make sure that it gets heard and what are your realistic expectations for your petition? 
what I'd really like to see is some leadership from the top for the Minister of Health to come out to greet us on December the 14th when we're going to present the petition to Parliament and to say it's uh, we're not going to take away medicines for um, paediatric oncology. Um, that would be the, the ultimate outcome as well as I think saying we'll create some sort of fund or mechanism whereby um, we'll create a level playing field um, for children with a rare disorder for their medicine to also be funded. So I'd encourage um, watchers out there to go to the change.org site mm. and sign our petition. Um, you know, this, this cannot happen in today's age in a society like ours. Because it's always taking from one to get to another, isn't it? So what do you think they're trying to, to give to if they're taking from this area? Well, what they're trying to do is create a level playing field. So the premise of Fiona's claim that was taken to the Human Rights Commission was everything's unequal. Why should you know, children with cancer get what they need, whereas the children with a rare disorder cannot? And so what Farmac are going, OK, there are two ways we can go about it, but knowing the budget that they have, it's more likely that they will take away children with cancer getting the medicines that they need rather than saying to children with a rare disorder um, we're going to fund what you guys need and bring you up to a level playing field. Okay. All right. You got a, you got a job on your hands. Patient voice Aotearoa Chair Dr Malcolm Mulholland. Thank you so much for your time today and all the best with your petition. Ngā mihi. Kia ora, Neil.